Uh, when I got the call to enter the College Hall of Fame, more than anything, I was surprised. Um, I was very honored, but more than anything, I was just like, wow, uh, it's a great company to be in. And I'm not sure, like you said, it gets any better than this. So uh, certainly was a, a bit of a Christmas surprise last year, and we're happy to be here. Quarterback from the University of Montana, Dave Dickinson. Montana Grizzlies all-time leading passer in 1995, NFF National Scholar athlete Dave Dickinson returns to the dais to become just the second Hall of Famer in Grizzly history. Montana led by record-setting senior quarterback Dave Dickinson. A two-time first-team All-American, Dickinson capped off his career with an FCS national title in dramatic come-from-behind fashion. And Montana can celebrate their first national championship. The 1995 Walter Payton Award winner led the Grizzlies to two conference titles and was a three-time first-team all-conference selection. Dickinson looking to the sidelines, Earhart touchdown. And the greatest male athlete in Big Sky Conference history holds two conference records and 28 school records. Dickinson's number 15 is one of only two retired jerseys in school history. Dave Dickinson, the University of Montana. The state of Montana loves its football, it really does, um, and it's proud of the people that are from there. Basically, if you have any relative or any ties to Montana and you've done something special in sports as, as well as anything else, Montana's going to adopt you and uh, kind of been born and raised there. Parents are teachers and we kind of think of ourselves as, I don't know, just kind of doing it for the love of the game and ultimately we were able to do something special and win a national championship for our state. and. Uh, Football kind of continued on from there for me, but uh, you know, we're proud of where we're from and we, uh, we think we play some pretty good football. Being back in Montana, the on-campus salute was big time for me. I mean, that was so fun. I mean, I haven't been back for many, many years. When I got there, I didn't realize how big it was gonna be. It was, they brought out the old school colors, um, just had a great time out on the field, getting back with the people in Montana, um, feeling like part of the program again, and uh, it's been a while. So for me, it was as good as it gets. And the Grizz played well and won, so to me, that's a big deal. These two weeks for me has been as good as any in my life. Um, knew I was gonna be in New York. Uh, wanted to take care of business first. I had a lot of unfinished business as a coach for the Calgary Stampeders. Not only did we get back, we finished it. Uh, huge relief. <laughs> I remember like seeing some other athletes, like Peyton Manning, some other guys that after they win a Super Bowl, and they just almost feel like they're exhausted and relief. I felt the same way. I felt like it was overdue, worked super hard to accomplish it. So to me now to get to New York and just kind of relax and, and get together with these guys, the guys I've looked up to my whole life and watched football my whole life, um, it's, it's big time for me just to get away and to be part of this group. Um, you know, it'd be tough to match 2018 though because it's been a great year for me. Gentlemen, please rise and place your Hall of Fame ring on the table. Trevor Cobb, Gary Collins, Dave Dickinson, Dana Howard, Calvin Johnson, Paul Palmer, Ed Reed, Matt Stinskum, Aaron Taylor, Charles Woodson, Coach Frank Beamer, Coach Mac Brown, and Coach Mel Churchman. On this date, December 4, 2018, the members of the Honors Court, the Board of Directors, and the 120 chapters of the National Football Foundation have noted you worthy of enrollment in the College Football Hall of Fame. Distinguished by strength of soul, mind, and body, you have added to the endowment of American manhood and have served us as an inspiration to the youth of our land, who will succeed you in the enormous role of leading the greatest of all teams, the United States of America. To make sure that your names are duly honored and the memory of you made certain as long as our time shall endure, I now, on behalf of the National Football Foundation, declare that you are inducted into college football's National Shrine. Congratulations. <laughs>